in sixth grade. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so this is part two of our video for the One Point Perspective. Um, so I'm gonna be posting on Google Classroom some examples. Um, so there's eight examples. I have it on my phone here, but I'm gonna show it to you guys on Google Classroom so you can take a look at all of them. I'm gonna try and create this scene here. So um, if you guys just wanna follow along with me, you can. And we're gonna get started. So I have my pencil. I'm gonna sharpen it. Oops, nope, I'm not gonna sharpen it. <clears throat> okay, never mind. All right, so this is where you guys should have, should be. Okay, so now um, right here in the middle, I'm gonna add like a road. So again, if you wanna use a ruler, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So I'm gonna add a road. So how I'm gonna do that is from the middle point here down, I'm going to make a line, okay? The same way from the middle point down, make a line, okay? And then I'm gonna make lines going across. I took a look like a, like a straight. I'm just using my ruler. So some of you guys are gonna do like the street. Some of you guys are gonna do like the pool like I am. Um, I think they're all kind of the same or so on the side. Um, but I'm just kind of following the lead of that photo that I showed you. So it kind of looks like, like a road or maybe some steps or maybe just like the side of the pool. <clears throat> so however, whichever one you do, this is the one I'm doing. All right, and then I'm gonna add like how it has, bring it up again, how it has um, like a little whale. I'm gonna add a little whale in the middle, like the whale fin. So kind of looks like this. Something like that. Some waves. Some more waves. Okay. And then on the top here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to add the rainbow too, but do you see how the lines have a race? So you're going to erase the lines when we're all done. Um, so I'm not quite gonna erase just yet, but I'm gonna add the rainbow and the clouds next, and then I will erase those lines that I have here, okay? So the rainbow. Kinda looks like that, okay? So add some clouds. Something like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an eraser. I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase these lines. So once I erase here, I'm going to have to move my rainbow lines. But I'm going to use this eraser. I'm gonna have to make the lines go down here. It ends up behind the building. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here. Same thing, just erase my lines, kind of fix my tree. Fix 
that. I'm gonna fix my tree right now. <clears throat> so, your next step would be coloring. So, if you guys want to use crayons, markers, color pencils, whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use markers. And, you know, I'm going to use markers and crayons. Okay, so I'm going to trace my trees in green marker and then I'll color it in in crayon. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm going to trace my tree trunks in the brown marker. If you guys need to fast forward this part, you can. I'm just tracing my tree trunks. So you're just coloring in right now. Um, that's all I'm going to be doing. And then I will show you guys the ending outcome on Google Classroom. So that's really all you're doing is you're, you're just coloring it all in. Um, I will color it in and then I will post it. I don't um, want to do this in the video because it'll take a while. So however long it takes you. Um, our class runs for about 45 minutes, so we should be done with this part today. Um, but I will put the due date on Google Classroom and I'll show you guys the ending outcome, okay? But that pretty much does it for your one point perspective. Um, so I will post everything on Google Classroom and like I said, I'll, I'll send you guys the um, ending picture colored in, okay? You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.